So today's video is about downloading Bootstrap Studio on Linux. I'm using Ubuntu 20 and well, so you just go to your, you've already bought it obviously because it wouldn't take you to this page. Um, so it's Bootstrap Studio 5.2.1. All these uh, versions should work on Linux as well. So we'll just go to the Linux bit here and then we'll download it. Uh, we just have to wait for that. It shouldn't really take too long. This is uh, pretty fast broadband, but I'll come back in a little while. So now download is complete and we have to go into something called app image. So no available apps, find more software. So now it's a very complicated thing and it often is with Linux. So now you have like your bootstrap studio dot app image as it's called here. And uh, what you do with app image. So for example, if you try and run it here, could not display bootstrap studio dot app image search and software, blah, blah, blah. So what you got to do is you've got to right click, go to properties. And you see this here, bootstrap studio dot app image. Now that's the basic. If you go to permissions, Go down at the bottom here where it says execute. Uh, allows executing files as programs. So you just click that. Now, let's see if that runs. Because in theory, that should work. And it should come up on this left hand side. And there we are. So this is what you do. Linux can be so frustrating, but it can be <laughs> it can be very um, you know it can be exhilarating, and sometimes when you get get things wrong, and then you you know you, you get it all right. There's another thing here I bought the other day. It's called Hexy, and it's a color management. And again, this doesn't work. What you've got to do is you go into the properties, and again permissions where it says app images, and, and you execute there as well. So I've never done this, this is totally on the fly. So hopefully that'll work too. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's with the, with Linux, it, it is an experience, um, but it's, it's good fun. If you've got a little bit of time, it's well worth learning because Windows, you know, that can, there you go. This is uh, Hexy and I haven't put in the, as you can see, I haven't put in the license agreement, anything like that. Um, you know, buy a license. I've actually bought it, but I haven't put the, the license thing in. You're saying this for the, the very first time. So that, that's the, the key to this is on the permissions is you go to execute the file. So I hope um, those that uh, venturing out in Linux can find this solution um, sometimes with it as well you don't get the um, the icon image in that because there's nothing there um, you can work there's workarounds for that and uh, for me personally it doesn't really bother us as long as I can use the program and I said the other day that um, Bootstrap Studio wasn't allowing me to um, have upgrades now this is one of the reasons why I, uh, I, I could, I could, I've used Linux off and on for years. And um, this time I'm, I'm actually doing a course that I mentioned on a, on a previous video. And what I want to do is cut away from uh, Windows. I've got too much uh, stuff on there that, you know, and I just want to be like, uh, have a, a free thing for purely programming, um, web design and development, that things that I do. And, uh, learning new stuff you know you you never know it all and, and this is something that I've found um, on this course I'm doing the first part of uh, I've already gone through it's nothing that I don't know so it's uh, it's like steadily going to get uh, harder which it's it's all about challenges in life isn't it and you know if you can master these things it's, uh, it gives you a bit of a kudos in your mind so again thanks for watching these videos